Hello everyone. I am Malavika Esnaya of class 10th D, KV number 1, Palaka. And today I am going to have a brief section about the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Under the coordination of Mrs. Mini Shekhar, TGT Maths, KV number 1, Palaka. So, what is fundamental theorem of arithmetic? Fundamental theorem of arithmetic is basically prime factorization. So what is prime factorization? Every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes and this prime factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime number occurs. So prime factorization is usually used to find LCM and HCF. So let's take a few examples how we can use the fundamental theorem of arithmetic or prime factorization to, to find out LCM and HCF. So here we have a question. Find HCF and LCM using prime factorization 6 and 20. So let's take the numbers 6 and 20. So we can write 6 as 2 into 3 in which 2 and 3 both are prime numbers and we can write 20 as 2 into 2 which is 4 and 5. In here 2, 2 and 5 all the three numbers are prime numbers. So we are not violating the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So we can write this as 2 into 3 and we can write this as 2 square into 5. So to find HCF, we can take the common numbers present here which is Two. So to find HCF, we are taking the smallest number in the common number. So which is in here 2. So the HCF of 6 and 20 is 2. And now to find the LCM, we will take the common numbers and the largest one in the common number so we'll take 2 square into 3 into 5 which is 4 into 3 into 5 answer is 60 so the lcm of 6 and 20 is 60 now let's take another example which is 72 and 120 Let's take it take it down. Seventy two, one twenty. So let's prime factorize this. Seventy two. Again, this thirty six. Again with two, you will get eighteen. Again with two. We will get 9. Now we will 3, 3. So we are getting 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. So let's see 120. Take 120 here. We will do it with 2. 60. Again with 2. 30. Again with 2, we will get 15, we will do it with 5, we will get 3. So we are stopping here and we will get 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 3. So we can write this as 2 cube into 3 square, right? And we can write this as 2 cube into 3 into 5. It's also correct. So now to find the HCF. 
as we discussed before we have to take the common numbers which are 2 and 3 so to find it we will take the lowest in the common ones so here both are same so we will take 2 cube only 2 cube and here the lowest is 3 so we will take 3 which is answer will be 24 8 into 3 24 now LCM will be we will again take the common numbers 2 and 3 in here we will take the largest one so here both are same so we will take 2 cube only and here the largest one is 3 square so we will take 3 square and the remaining odd numbers which are not common that is 5 only 5 is there so we will only write 5 and the answer will be 8 into 9 into 5 the answer is 360 so we have got the LCM and HCF of 72 and 120 by the fundamental theorem of arithmetic now let's take another example as well which is 26 and 91 so let's write it down so we can write 26 as 2 into 13 right both are prime numbers and we can write 91 as 7 into 13 both are again prime numbers so in here the common ones are 13 so common is 13 and the HCF will be 13 and LCM will be 13 into the remaining odd ones which are not common they are 7 into 2 which is answer will be 182 so now we have seen three examples in which we are using the fundamental theorem of arithmetic or prime factorization to find HCF and LCM of these examples. So, thank you.